Keymake 70 HRC hardness knife. Amazing amorphous alloy, liquid metal technology. Is it as fun as when I initially got it? Not exactly. I went to a machine shop today where they make some of our machine steel components and I used their Rockwell hardness testing machine to test this blade. So what's the result? Well, I'll show you some pictures where you'll see the magnification of a blade. One of the results is a chipped blade. I don't know if I'll be able to work this out without changing the geometry of a blade. Maybe just make a small dent and use it as a cigar cutter. So what's the problem with a measurement? We did a measurement about five millimeters from the edge. So it's, what is it like, one fifth of an inch. And the result was 56 HRC. So quite far from the 70 as described by the manufacturer. But the problem is, if you look at the blade, of course it has a bevel. And the harness machine has a special foot which presses down on the edge, so I'll just show you it's a little bit exaggerated. So since the blade is coming down like this, you have a foot resting here, and then there's this hardened tip which presses into the material, and the hardness is determined by how much this, this cone presses into the metal. So if you have a foot resting like here, obviously, you already have uh, some distance this will travel without pressing into the material so the readout is less than the actual hardness on the other hand 56 is still pretty good for a kitchen knife it handles quite well although a little bit misadvertised when it comes to hardness considering the, how far this measurement was made could be also uh, the issue of this being laser fused. So when you laser fuse and heat the material, then it recrystallizes. It might not have that amorphous structure in this point, so it obviously would be also softer. So who knows? Maybe in some time I'll get a small block of steel machined to accommodate this small angle, so you'll be able to mount the knife parallel to this measurement foot and do an actual test. I also have another knife coming in, a Knasa, similar technology, it was a Kickstarter project. But obviously, I guess I won't be trying this again, considering the risk of damage. I don't expect it to be any better. I also don't expect it to be any worse. So 120, 150 bucks, like this knife cost. There's also this liquid diamond company. They also make similar priced knives. It's also the same fused blade, I would say. If you don't have a kitchen knife and you to buy anything, you can always get this to be happy. So that's it for now. Cheers. I gotta do something with this watermelon now.